Got a very special episode coming up. So CMD sign and electric are gonna come out and they're gonna measure all that. And we're gonna have our logo put on there, our Instagram link, all that cool stuff. And then I also, come on. I'm a big Fallout fan. Gonna put the Ranger back up there. Definitely gonna put the Ranger back up there. So we're gonna get her all washed up today, get her ready to go out tomorrow, start the design process and getting the vinyl put on. Uh, it's gonna be fun, so. Oh, don't worry about me, sir. I'll be fine. It's time to begin. I feel it in my skin. This change in the wind telling me to live again. There's a world full of wonder I've never seen before. I'm staring out an open door I don't want this anymore uh, In the meantime, I'm out here, I'm cleaning my awning And if you guys didn't know this trick Here's the thing Get yourself a magic eraser You know, the Mr. Clean magic eraser And a bucket of warm water with some car wash in it Look at these results Night and day that's just one run. That's it. Well, now that the worst part's over, I'm freaking soaking wet. But hey, that's a night and day difference. In the Pacific Northwest, it never fails when you are RVing. It's gonna rain one day, two days, and your awning's all soaking wet. It usually rains on the day you leave. So then you roll it all up, and then it rains for like three weeks. And the next time you use it, it's full of mildew. But I'm telling you that magic eraser and some warm water in a bucket, and you don't even have to like scrub. It's just wax on, wax off. That stuff's awesome. We're at home base today, and we got a special episode coming up. My cousin, who owns CMD Sign and Electric, and I are collaborating together on this video. Um, we're gonna do a complete graphic redesign on the back of my trailer. Uh, he's the one that did the the Fallout one, the little the Vault Tech Ranger on my last one. Uh, so we're gonna completely redo all that. We're gonna put the channel name on the back of the trailer this time, and our Instagram, and maybe a QR code. I don't know. We're brainstorming at this point, so we don't really know what we're gonna do. Uh, but he is the co-owner of CMD Signs and Electric. So that's your canvas you got to work with there. All right, cool. Yeah. There was some discussion that we talked about maybe covering the Winnebago over, but I don't know. Uh, depending on what we want to do, what we want to combine there. Can we change it to say Wasteland Tobago? Absolutely. <laughs> Believe it or not, that font is on the internet somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that would be funny. All right, so this is Chris. So what are we doing? Oh. Well, first of all, I'm going to survey the back of the vehicle and get a uh, pretty good um, indication or size. I'll put that on the computer and I'll blow it up to scale and we'll start figuring out exactly where things are going to land and what they're going to look like. Figures the it's supposed to be hot today, but it's been sprinkling on us. Isn't it uh, supposed to burn off today? No, on July 5th it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a typical Pacific Northwest July. Our July 4th is oh, this is pretty much it. It's, it's July 1st today, so the 4th is usually just like this. I, I think we get a nice uh, sunny July 4th about every what decade? Something like that. Yep. Uh, pretty much. That's what happens when you live in coastal Washington. Alright, we're, so we're going to go to the shop now to figure out how to get into the truck while holding a cup of coffee while holding a camera. Oh! You have self-opening doors, dude? Good God! 
It's not exactly a cyber truck. It's amazing. I thought this thing could only just pull the space shuttle. <laughs> One of these days we'll have the CMD cyber truck. All right, we're off to the shop. Where do we start? Right here. At Goofy Clown Face. Industry, science and technology. <laughs> Big men putting screwdrivers into things, turning them, and adjusting them. So not this one? Uh, well that this one... This one's a little more friendlier looking, so... Yeah, that one... He's got the aggressive face, but he's not wearing the helmet. Okay. Could do an auto trace, but tends to not look too good. So I'm going to. So you basically redrawing and the image. vector. So what format is it in currently? Uh, currently, it's this is a bitmap or raster image. You can see this is a series of map of dots or pixels. You can see all the pixels. All right. This is vector. This is an image based in geometry. So for instance, it's, think of a, a series of lines on a, um, like a geographic, or not geographic, but a geometry type map. You have your coordinates. And that's how these work. It's like this line, this node here goes to this node and there's there's a mathematical formula in the code. Um, so, so the good thing about uh, vector images is they're, um, they don't have resolution restrictions except for maybe the monitor or whatever printer you're uh, outputting to. Mm -hmm. so. so you get a crisper, cleaner Much, yes, image. Yes. You don't get the there. So what was that again? You've got these two lines. So typically an object has a couple of attributes. It has a fill. And it can be all sorts of different things. It can be gradient, it can be a pattern, it can be a half tone, or you know, an EPS. Or and it also has a stroke or a pin. But I usually work without pins. They cause problems. So So that's why I had those well it had those lines. It had those. Yep. And now they're now it looks just like that. But yep. sharper. Cool. Yes. So the image quality on this is um, is a bit better. I'm going to see if maybe I can get it to auto trace, which means it does a predictability where it goes and tries to determine how to make things in the vector. So obviously Maddie's number four on both her uh, high school and travel ball team. So we're going to change it from the 76, which is from the game Fallout 76. A four, and we're going to replace Vault Boy's face with Vault Girl's face. So I'm probably going to end up cutting around the trees. 
This is just mostly so I can represent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're gonna... Cut that out around the trees. This well, is so I can represent that the, this logo is gone. It'll be replaced with this. That looks good. You can even go back to the original black Winnebago if you wanted to. Or just outline it in black. Do you think that stands out better? I don't know. You can use it as advertising sign experts. So if anyone from Winnebago is actually watching this video, we're working really hard to make sure people know that it's still a Winnebago. Yes. <laughs> I mean, we'll be brand ambassadors if you want. It wouldn't hurt our feelings. <laughs> well, which That's more readable. Yeah, let's leave this it. This is a little more um, subtle. So yes. let's go something like Right. Let's see what happens. If, let's see what happens if you move the logo up uh, to where he's pointing at it. I think that looks fantastic. <laughs> Subtle but not too in your face. Subtle enough, but in your face so enough. Make, let's make So what is this machine? This is a Rowan uh, BG3 Truth 6.4. So it's a it's a um, it's a wide format printer that prints solvent ink. So like a job this size, what's the what's the printing time? Um, I put this on high quality, so it's probably going to take 40 minutes. So. Okay. 30 to 40 minutes. Cool. A, um, a four by eight usually takes 20, 25 minutes. Now where's the this dot? This one's gonna be about nine feet long. Where's the dot matrix giant printer? Hey! <laughs> Each one of these cartridges are about $130. Oh really? Yeah. So about as much as a regular toner cartridge these days. <laughs> yeah, and uh, how many colors does this machine have? This one does eight. So
today on How It Works. <laughs> so it's made knockoff or something? How it's made. The man comes in with the stickers and holds the new one together. Over time, the humidity, the atmosphere, yeah. it can like curl up. And this thing will periodically clean, it'll pretty it'll come out, and sometimes it'll hit it. And that's where your uh, longevity uh, is. So it's, the print head's not getting struck. Yeah. So that's the first print there, and then the second print is going to be. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> you welcome. Yes. You almost forgot the whole follow us on YouTube part. The whole reason we're here. <laughs> So today's episode is going to be brought to you by CMD Sign Electric. They're out here. They're doing the graphics on the back of our trailer that we're going to be driving all over the country. So everyone's going to see their work, which is going to be awesome. So I'm here with Chris and Marcus, and they are the owners of CMD Sign Electric and the sponsors of today's video. Yes, sir. So Chris and I are 50-50 owners in this, and we do all kinds of stuff down here, but vehicle graphics is one of the things that uh, we really like to dive into. and. Uh, make sure that vehicles shine and then like you said if you're RVs traveling whatever you want Make sure your vehicle sticks out because we can take care of that for you So appreciate these guys for letting us come out here today and do this uh, it Means a lot to us and my family Especially for the fast pitch side of things. So it's completely awesome that they're doing this for us um, I'm gonna put a link in the description I'm also gonna do a link on our Instagram so you guys can, uh, can go there and uh, we'll throw all that out and I'm going to put their QR code also in the video so you can just put your camera up to the screen. So see where they are. So if you want anything done to your RV or anything, get a hold of these guys. They're really good. They're very professional. Hey, What's that? Did you see those pictures out there? <laughs> we'll be back in, what, a few days? Yeah. And why is it here? Because uh, the next, uh, next phase, the next uh, step would be to laminate. It's got an out gas first. And yeah. then we'll trim it out. So it works there. It is, it's just a joke. It's a transfer tape on it and we'll apply it. Just awesome. It. Cool. All right, we're back at CMD Signs. It is July 5th. I'm here with Chris. And uh, what was your prediction on July 5th? <laughs> this. <laughs> it is currently 87 degrees here, uh, where the shop's located in Montesano, Washington. Yeah. So we're going to go inside where it's about one degrees cooler. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not much, yes. Uh, and we're going to go in there and we're going to finish off the, the graphics and get them uh, laminated. Uh, so they're UV protected and weather protected and uh, they'll last a long time on the back of the trailer. So, let's go in and get started. Dang, you guys didn't tell me that lunch was provided. It looks lunch awesome. Lunch is always provided here <laughs> at CMD. Here's That's the only reason why people stay, I think. It's because lunch is always provided. Right. The plenty of 2001 space out of the So right now we're going to laminate, and by doing that, since we're using a solvent ink on vinyl, we tend to roll that out and to let the gases that's been built up disperse. It usually takes about four to eight hours for it to outgas. So next I'm going to put this in the laminator, I'm going to get it all lined up and just apply the two surfaces together. So and what does the laminate do? Uh, in this particular case for putting on a vehicle, it helps with abrasion. Uh, you know, there's a lot of dust and rocks getting picked up when you're driving around and then it also uh, helps with UV. It helps uh, uh, prevent from uh, ink getting broke down over time so it'll last, it'll probably add about eight years to it. Awesome.
for the trailer. Chris is back. We have to take the ladder, well, part of the ladder down. Just need a little bit of room to get it. Okay, so we got this, the little uh, supports off the ladder at the top here. Um, we're just putting some adhesive remover on right now where the old Winnebago logo was and uh, where the legs were connected there. And then uh, gotta make sure the surface is clean and free of any dirt, debris, anything that's gonna bubble or have any imperfections under the vinyl. Okay, so we got the easy one done. I didn't have to help with that one, because that one was easy. I have to do a warm up first. Uh, this one, not so much. I'm gonna have to put the big camera down. Uh, it's a two-man job, definitely. Yep. yep. This thing is huge. It's uh, eight feet wide, and what? 52 inches tall? Yeah. Like it's gonna go right there. It totally changed the whole look of the trailer. It's gonna be awesome. How many trailers have you done? Thousand. Yeah. Quite <laughs> a bit. A lot of vehicle decals over here. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Any any fallout ones? Just one. Yeah. Four. Yes. Yeah. Whose was I that? Truly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm gonna put the big camera down. We're gonna get this big decal put up and uh, yeah. Yeah, enjoy the time lapse. Also in RVing. Yes. All right. Scalpel. Oh. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. It's up, it's finished. There's the grand reveal. Right there. Couldn't have, uh, couldn't have done any of this without CMD sign and electric. So get in here. <laughs> Reel it in. So couldn't have, this wouldn't have been possible without Chris and CMD sign electric. So big shout out to them. And if you need anything like this, give them a call. Appreciate you having me do this. Yeah. So, so. Alright, thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting. Have a good one guys.